gonna be cooking a whole chicken today. And these are the ingredients you're gonna need. We're gonna need rosemary, oregano, and savory. You can really use any kind of seasonings you like. These are just the ones that I like. Uh, paprika, lemon, salt, garlic, and onion powder. You're gonna need some softened butter. So you can actually leave it out for about 30 minutes or you can put it in the microwave for about five minutes. But this has been out for like 30 minutes, so it's good enough. Some olive oil and a little bit of cooking twine. The chicken, of course, all right? So first, what I like to do is I like to make the this buttered spice rub. So we get about two tablespoons of butter. Like I said, it's softened, so we're gonna add some rosemary. Maybe about a teaspoon. And kind of the same thing for the oregano. And the same thing for the savory. Okay, you can also use thyme or another spice instead of the savory. Onion powder. You kind of just add the spices um, liberally. Doesn't have to be perfect. I like garlic, so we'll put probably about a teaspoon of garlic also. Salt, very important for the chicken to taste good. So we're gonna put about maybe a tablespoon, a tablespoon of salt. I'm gonna mix it up. And it's gonna start forming like a green type of paste. And this is what we're gonna put inside the chicken to make it taste good. So there you go, that's pretty much what it looks like. Um, it's not a lot, but it's gonna be enough because it's gonna melt into the chicken. It's gonna make it taste delicious. So I'm gonna put my seasonings and my spices away for a minute. Get the chicken out here. So we got the bird here. Um, what I like to do is I like to cut the knuckles in the back of the legs off. Um, it gives you a little bit nicer drumstick. And then the wing tips, they're kind of useless, so I like to take them off. Let's see if I can try to cut them. If not, there we go. Not too hard. Okay. I'm not gonna throw these away. I'll put them in here. And then uh, this and some of the rest of it later on we can use for like a chicken broth. So we'll flip them over so we can see the breast. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make with their fingers a little hole down here. Kind of open up and make a little, a little hole so we can access the breast. And even, even the drumstick. I'm gonna put my finger here and kind of break a little piece of the fat, a little piece of the skin inside. And then that's gonna let us put the rub, the buttered um, rub all over this chicken. Okay, for this sometimes I like to use a little spoon and it really helps a lot. So we're gonna get a little spoon Got some of the butter, and we're just gonna put it in here with your finger on the spoon, kind of let it drop in the breast. Do that on the other side of the breast. I'm putting about maybe a little bit less than a tablespoon on each side of the breast. Put a little bit more, both sides, and you can kind of start 
to see it on the breast. Now what I do is I try to massage it in there a little bit so that it spreads evenly. Then I want to put a little bit into the drumsticks in there. Same for the other side. Okay, that's good enough. And then any little bit that you have left, you're just gonna put it inside of the chicken. Put it in there, spread it in there. This is gonna give the chicken a great taste. Okay. Once you're finished with that, you're going to start the rest of the bird on the outside. Um, but before we're going to cut a little piece of the cooking twine, get the lemon. You don't have to cut it, you just wash the lemon and you put it inside. Okay, then um, we're going to want to tie up the leg. And what this is going to do, it's going to give it a nice lemony aroma as you're cooking the chicken. It's going to make for a better, better tasting chicken. So now we're going to put some paprika, put some paprika all over it. It's just going to give it some nice coloring. Just gonna pour it all over it. Flip it over. So the same thing on the other side. All right. Then, when you're done doing this, we're going to get the. Uh, Olive oil, put some of it over it, spread it all around. Same thing on the other side. You don't have to go crazy with this, but just put some of it, put some of it all over. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to wait until the chicken is about room temperature and that's going to help the, cook, the, the chicken cook evenly all over and it's going to be nice and tender when we're done with it. So we're going to wait maybe about 30 minutes and that should be enough time. So we'll be right back in a second. Alright, now we let the chicken rest for about 30 minutes and we let it get to room temperature. I put the oven at 450 degrees which probably seems pretty hot but I want for the chicken to be crispy on the outside and soft and tender on the inside and this chicken's not going to cook for two hours it should be ready anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half this is a five and a half pound chicken so depending on the size it might cook faster or it might take a little bit longer but usually a uh, chicken like this is going to be around an hour and 15 minutes an hour and a half but we're going to check it towards the end so the oven's ready to go. I'm going to just put a little bit more uh, salt on the outside of the chicken. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use this roasting pan that you use usually for cooking turkeys or cooking other kind of roasts and it's going to be really good to use this because it's going to allow for the heat to go all around the chicken all right so usually the way i like to do it is i like to first put it breast side down okay so it's going to go just like this and i'll cook it about 30 minutes breast side down since the the breast is usually um one that's the least 
um, least delicious parts of the chicken and sometimes the least tender also. So I want for all the juices to collect in the breast for at least 30 minutes and then we'll flip it over and we'll do the rest of the cooking on the other side. So basically the chicken is ready to go. Um, you can have it with whatever kind of side you like, whether it's vegetables, asparagus, potatoes, whatever you like. So um, me, what I like is I like to put some potatoes and uh, carrots. So the carrots are right here, they're already cut. I have some squash that's already cut. I'm just gonna cut some potatoes. I'm gonna just cut them lengthwise. ones I'm actually gonna cut one more time. These are pretty big. Okay and we're gonna season this with just some salt and pepper. So let's get a little bit of salt. potatoes have been washed so the water that I got washed with is gonna kind of help it stick together and potatoes usually need a lot of salt put some pepper okay and now over here I have the, uh, the carrots and the squash and the reason I season them separately is because I don't like that much salt on top of these things or a lot of pepper. So I'm just gonna just give it a little bit. That's good. And actually I don't want pepper at all. So normally the way I arrange this is I get the carrots and I just put them around the chicken. And I make kind of like a little a little fence around it. Okay, then I'm gonna put the squash around this. This is butternut squash. Okay, and then I'm just going to arrange the potatoes around it. All right. So basically, basically like this. And also, when it's cooked, it's gonna give it a beautiful appearance. All right. So now that we have all that done, we're going to go ahead and put it in the oven. Just going to go in here again, half hour. And then we'll check the chicken, see how it looks, flip it, and continue. Right, so the chicken's been cooking for about 30 minutes, and it's time to take it out now and flip it. So we'll see how it looks now. Starting to look very nice. Take a look. At it. So the way I flip the chicken is I have two wet paper towels and I just grab it and flip it. Or sometimes I'll just grab a pair of tongs and um, just the paper towel on the other end and flip it that way. So we'll try that. There we go. See, so it needs to get kind of crispy on this end now. And uh, don't worry about these lines across the chicken. It's gonna get nice and crispy also. So there you go. Very simple, you just flip the chicken over. Um, something else I like to do is some of the potatoes that are roasting better than others, I just change the position of them and make sure that they're all gonna get nice and crispy. So just kind of turn them and some kind of a uh, Put them a little bit higher than the others. Um, most of them here are doing pretty good. So, no big deal. This is just kind of the the appearance, the cosmetics of uh, of this of this dish. So we're gonna put it back in for about another 30 minutes and then we're gonna start taking the temperature of the chicken. And I'll show you how to do that in a little while. Okay, so 
So the chicken's been cooking right now for about an hour and 15 minutes. So we're gonna check the temperature. Open the oven. There it is. Look how beautiful it looks. Very nice. So this is the way I like to check the temperature of the chicken. I like to get a thermometer and I'm pretty sure it looks, I mean, it looks pretty cooked, but you never know. So it should be around 165 degrees or more. So I like to insert the thermometer in the thigh somewhere. Okay. And it's giving us right now about 169. So the chicken is good. It's good to go. The potatoes are all nicely roasted. Um, the squash and the carrots look fantastic. So at this point, what I want to do is just let it rest for maybe 15 minutes. Uh, let some of the juices come back out to the chicken. And then um, after we get that done, I'll go ahead and carve the chicken and set it up for eating. All right, so we've waited about 15 minutes now and allowed some time for the chicken to cool off and also time for the juices to return back to the chicken. So now we're gonna get ready to cut the chicken. This part is a little bit difficult for, for some people. Um, all we're gonna need is a pair of, we're actually gonna need a, a knife, a sharp knife, and a scissor, and a fork. Okay. And the tongues, we're gonna take the, take the bird out. There it is. It looks great right now. See all the juice flowing from it? This is a super juicy chicken. So we're gonna cut this twine out. Just lay it there. Okay. The lemon from the inside, we're going to take it out. Set it aside for now. We're gonna use that in a second. Okay, and we're gonna start cutting this chicken. So the way I normally do it, I start off with the the leg. Just sort of pull it. And now we're going to set a plate up here to just set the different chicken pieces on it. So there it is. And actually, we can even cut this up a little bit more. Kind of like that. and a nice drumstick there. Okay, there it is. Same thing for the other side. Okay, turn it around. Cut it. There you go. You have to kind of find the joint to cut it precisely, but if not, that's okay. You can just push it hard. All right, so now we're gonna do the wings. Okay, the wings I kind of just go in there like that on the side and when you find the joint that's how you do it I'll leave the wing hole you could separate it also 
into a little wing and a drumstick there. If you like that, we can do that. It's fine also. Okay. So there it is. We're going to put it over here. Keep setting it up. Same thing, of course, on the other side. Okay. There it is. We're going to cut it. Okay. Set it aside. Okay, there it is. And now for the breast. The breast, the way I do it is I kind of just hold down the bottom of the carcass of the chicken and kind of run my knife through the center of the breast on each side. Try to feel it out. Feel out the bone to try to maximize the amount of meat we're going to get from it. Then you just kind of push through a little bit hard and it loosens up and it comes out real nice like this. See, that's a nice piece of chicken there. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. Just try to feel it. There you go. Okay, grab it, put it over here, and there you go. We have a nice little setup of a completely carved chicken. Now, I still like to get some of these pieces and put them there, but for right now, we'll just keep moving along. And the other thing I like to do just for a kind of presentation is put some of the potatoes and some of the other vegetables right here. Um, so what we'll do is, like I said before, the potatoes, they really take salt really well. So I'm gonna actually put a little bit more salt all over them. Okay, so they're a little bit a little bit more seasoned. And now what I do is I get the lemon, okay? I'm gonna put the lemon over here. I'm just gonna puncture the lemon, make like a little X right there. Okay, and you can grab it if it's not too hot. And you're just going to squeeze, squeeze the lemon. Let me make it a little bit bigger hole. A bigger hole there. There we go. All right. Grab it. And you're gonna squeeze it all over the chicken. Give it a nice lemony taste. You don't have to do this, but it's nice. Okay, now we'll get some of the potatoes, put them in here. We'll get um, some of the carrots, put them there. Some of the squash. The squash right now, look at that, it's super soft. It's almost like if it were like sweet potato. Okay. On the squash, I don't like to put anything else. Some people like to put a little bit of brown sugar or cinnamon. Um, I think they're they're perfect, just the way they are. And so, there it is. That's basically it, folks. Um, there's a the dish. I mean, I think it looks beautiful. It's gonna be delicious. And um, that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. And have a rest of the evening.